Rekills! Rekills stinks of sulfur and natural gas, like a moon landscape in hell. The sulfur pits lie among black, jagged rocks, just waiting for those brave enough to come and harvest the smelly yellow treasure. Welcome back to Let's Play Mad Max, I'm Burning Dog Face. Oh. And this is that weird thing I saw from a distance. Or one very, very, Don't very much you. like it. Yes, gladly. It is my sacred place. I guess this is sulfur, huh? So it probably reeks, as the name of the area suggests, of rotten eggs right about here. The lead slinger hit the gravel. Don't drink that, by the way. Was it sulfur that uh, Captain Kirk used to build a cannon against the Gorn? Their lead truck. It carries a great and powerful artifact on its hood. Yeah, it would serve us well to wield such a mysterious force. Do the thing, but hood ornament, man. They are all oh shit, fire raiders. Fire pipe gonna burn the living skin off of anything that creeps up at us. The fire raider engulfs enemies in glorious fire, fueled by the tank they carry in the back. Avoid protection to the... avoid exposure to the fire stream, and for extra protection, paint the magnum opus with red primer paint. Huh. Target the fuel tank for easy dispatching. I think he's dead. Damn, they's fast. You know what, level 2 armor? Maybe I am pushing it. Okay. Okay. I checked the map to see if it had, like, a, a skull rating on it, the, the convoy, I mean. But I guess, yeah, we are in Gut Gash's territory, so it would be tougher than the ones in Jeet's territory. I decided to go after it because, uh, frankly, we've been doing a lot of stuff for Jeet and not a lot of stuff for Gut Gash. Okay, I could have done that better. Weird of the problem was always right there. Except I went this way, not that way. Shot. Let's do this. Oh, he's looking. Okay. And, uh, where the hell is that guy? Oh, that guy's dead, okay. Hell yes, chum bucket. Hell yes. Anyone else like to shoot me in the face? No? Okay, good. Ugh. This will work. I'm 
comes back down, it sets everything on fire. Wasteland mission complete, ashes to ashes. Jeet has access to the resources needed to expand his gunpowder operation and to start trading with Gutgash. This project also benefits me greatly. You see, I'm not just murdering people. I'm building a community. I got shot at some point, and I'm really badly hurt. Oh, fuck. Um, I just now noticed that. Yeah, not a lot going on over here. Shit. Where is Gut Gash? Okay, fuck. Where was the balloon in this region? There it is. Frustratingly close to the other one. Okay. Shit. Uh, water storage, you say. So if I do that, then I can drive back and get infinite water. Hmm. First thought of I should go for that water, uh salvage place first and get myself some health. I think I'll be okay. Need to fill up on water. Probably end up having to do both anyway. Uh, you. Hey, let's look at collectibles. Gasworks. Dismantling this top dog camp has weakened Scordus' ability to rule over the wasteland. about these guys before, but I don't think I've ever encountered one. For the buzzards, we fly! Sand rattlers are quick and agile buzzard warriors that have been trained in fighting skills. What? Oh, trained in fighting skills. They're not doing combat with skills. Against the evil forces of skills. Uh, sorry. It is said that some sand rattlers used to be diglings that were trained to climb up into buried rafters and old ventilation systems to locate buried loot. The work made them both strong and agile. Sand rattlers can be shaken from the car or thrown off with collisions. A shotgun blast also does the trick. Didn't have time to dodge roll. Oh, hey, there's many dudes here. I thought you were more spikes. Sorry about that. Oh, damn it. Take the damn... shotgun shell by accident, but, uh, other than that, I think that went pretty well. Lots of spears here. 
Let me guess it was a buzzard enemy, the other thing I saw. Charbone, that was it. Uh, we tore the flesh off your bones! A feared enemy. Or off your bone, I guess. The feared enemy, the Charbone, is a rolling flamethrower. Attacks, attackers approaching from the rear are in for a warm welcome. It's a flame pipe nozzle begins to spew its scorching flames. Avoid their rear flame attack. For extra protection, the magnum weapons can be updated with fire retardant red primer paint. Of course, their deadliest attack can be neutralized for destroying their fuel tank. Wouldn't that just blow them the fuck up? It does that with everyone else. What is up with the red eyes, anyway? They're just, like, off-branded... Like, even ignoring the part where all the enemy factions have their own equivalents of each other's units. Going the wrong way. Are you evil? Yeah, you're evil. I guess I'll just run you over and it'll be fine. No longer alive, that's you. Exposed fuel tanks for effortless destruction. Fair. Hmm. If I drive that thing, do I get to use the flamethrower attack? Oh, god damn it. Look at that, I got so close to the uh, thing on the map disappeared. Yeah, when will the next time I get one of these things sitting around in pristine condition? This could work as cover. Nope. No alternate weapons. Fine. still there afterwards, I'd be happy to. Feral Blaster. Terrible blood-curdling screams and wheezes of the feral style. The Feral Blaster is a feared and utterly bizarre enemy, bred by road kills to essentially become human bombs. Oh, good. That would explain what all the Coke cans are doing there. They are weak, but defeat their enemy by throwing themselves at them and igniting their massive explosives, which they keep strapped onto them at all times. Life in the Wasteland is cheap, but the Blasters take this to new levels. These are swarming kamikaze enemies that ignite the explosives strapped to their bodies before dashing in quickly to leap towards Max, the explosion killing them in the process. The trick is to dispose of the Feral Blaster before he has a chance to attack and stay clear of the collateral damage. Um. Oh, I don't like this. No? Nobody? Okay. It's expected at any moment I'm going to be exploded by maniacs. Incredible dumbass. Watch out. No. I don't loot. 
killed the guy. Where did his weapon go? There it is over there. Oh, no, it's binoculars. What was I playing where down on the D-pad was drop a thing? Well, that was kind of a clusterfuck, but no one will ever talk about it, so that's good. Excellent. It's an oddly specific number for an achievement. Are you not water? No, I guess it doesn't matter. What was that? Oh, that. Okay. Can't take that with me. Ooh! I got Gas Guzzler for eating a can of dog food. Joy of joys. Well, let's take a look. Oil smear on face. Max's face is smeared with black oil. Why would I want that? I am genuinely confused. So if I equip that one and then do this. No, that one's just got the... I think that's the first level one? Yeah. I'll stick with that one, though. Ammo belt, yes, please. Kind of getting tired of only carrying around three shotgun shells. Sheath tin rig. A sturdy pouch and a little more room. I fear that I will need much more before I'm through. Four shotgun gels, seven sniper rounds, seven thunderpoon caps, and two shivs. That's not bad. Oh, they have a different visual look? Oops. And it was on max, wasn't it? Yeah, I have a better look at it. Okay. Just an extra pouch there across from the thing. Fine! Put that back on. What about you? Just do 20% more damage to enemies. Rip bar halfies. That'll, this'll help take them down. There's a nice angle. Ooh, he's got screws or something mounted there. Yeah, okay. Oh, right. That'll be a while. Oh, man. Reversal. A reversal move that disarms an armed attacker after a perfect parry. After a successful perfect parry against an enemy wielding a melee weapon or shiv... And disarm the attacker of his weapon. Hmm. Time a parry just as an enemy melee weapon or shiv attack is about to connect to perform a perfect parry. I was wondering about that. And follow up with a reversal move to disarm the enemy. Melee weapon execution. While holding a melee weapon, perform a melee weapon execution and quickly execute an enemy that is in a kneeling position. Sinister. I need a ton of fucking scrap, you guys. Uh, yeah, got it. Good. I got turned around again. I am really bad at directions, you guys. I cannot understate. Like if there was a competition, I might just take the uh, gold at being terrible at directions. There's the 
timer. Oh, Jesus. And those things are still there. So I'm going to take this fancy flamethrower car. I'm going to drive it back to Gut Gashes so we can get some water. But in the meantime, I'm calling it here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Mad Max. You know what? How far are we? Ah, uh, we're not that far. I don't need to get the gas can out of the uh, magnum opus. Yeah. I'll see you next time, Burning Dog fans. Later.